in today's episode, we're going to be talking about saturation versus color boost. Okay, so we're working with something that I've shot whew, like five years ago on original Blackmagic 2.5K. And in this video, I want to talk about what's the real difference between saturation and the color boost. For those of you who doesn't know, basically saturation increases saturation straight up evenly across all basically pixels or values in the shot or in the given image. Color boost, what it does, it increases saturation of the least saturated parts of the image. So in theory, it should be better to kind of balance the overall saturation of the shot. However, here goes the trick, and this is why you need to be very careful about using color boost. So here we have the shot um, from a long time ago. Let me really quickly balance it just something so we can see real difference okay so something like that okay, so next one we're gonna do a little bit temperature balancing okay saturation and color boost if I'm going to increase saturation all the way to a hundred we can see that image look throughout in general nicely if we're gonna do very same thing with a color boost look what's gonna happen okay increasing increasing from the first glance it looks more pleasant to our eyes because it got saturation going it's more vibrant it's more vivid however here's the thing you need to be careful if we're going to zoom in for example to this tree right over here we can see that tree over here we don't have any pixels but now with the color boost we can see that we start getting artifact the very nasty sort of blue and red chroma and this is the danger of using color boost and i know a lot of people prefer using color boost because originally it gives image eh, sort of a nicer vibrant kind of look of the bat however here goes the downside of it. Even if we look at our actor's skin, we can see there's something funky going on with the pixels. Let me show you his hair. Hopefully YouTube compression will allow you to see this. Okay, we can see how crazy his hair look. And we can see that there's a very nasty dancing chroma noise. Now, if I'm gonna go back to normal saturation, we can see that relatively it's not as bad now granted you're probably gonna say oh it's a nature file it's natively like that okay fair point so let me go and in a chroma remove any kind of chroma noise as a matter of fact let's do it like that let me just completely even though not the perfect way but let's say we reduce noise so there's nothing going on so that's a clean shot okay again let's do saturation okay all the way we can see that relatively we don't have too many artifacts even though we kind of can see a little bit but it's not too much now however if i'm gonna do color boost node okay just like that we can see how much more artifacts we start introducing in our image so basically this is very quick video showing the difference between saturation and the color boost so thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and i will see you soon